this video. This is a long one. Right now, me and Yessie are in Kansas. We're on the side of the road somewhere. And uh, Yessie and Randall are right there. So, um, yeah. So this video is our vacation to Australia. Everywhere from Cairns to Sydney to Melbourne and a lot of little towns in between. I went out and worked for a couple of weeks, flew Yessie out, we road tripped for a couple of weeks. And I filmed as much as I could, and I tied it together the best I could. And um, on this trip, it was significant, and it took me a while to edit it, and I'm putting it out now, and I'm recording the intro right now for you, because that trip is what led to us being full-time on the road in this bus, touring all the lower 58 states in the United States. Um, on the trip, I told Yessie, why don't we do this all the time? It seems silly to not do this all the time, to eventually hopefully be able to do this all the time when we get older. But I don't know that we will ever get older. We'll have the opportunity to do this ever again. And I don't know if I'll have the, the ability or the demand to be able to do this full time like I can right now. Right now is guaranteed, tomorrow isn't. So we kind of within a couple of months sold a bunch of our stuff, got rid of a bunch of things, Bought this bus and just hit the road. Just me, Yessie, and Randy, just us. And um, we're doing it. So this video was, how long ago were we in Australia? How many months ago? Three and a half months ago. Three and a half months later, here we are. So without further ado, here is mine and Yessie's vacation that we want to share with you.
Smithfield shops, that's where we're going for your okay. kids. Just down there. Wow. So I'm not a fast food person, but Hungry Jack's, aka Burger King, has vegan muffins right on the menu. I'm gonna give this sandwich a solid three out of ten. What do you give it? Three. I'm stoked there's an option for vegans in the airport and at Hungry Jack's. And if you eat fast food and uh, you go vegan, you may not think it's that whack. I don't know. Maybe I'm just picky. Been there, done that, right? That's me. Oh, that's the wrong door to get in. Right out the gate, right out the gate, wrong door. Oh man, all right. Whoa, this is odd. Okay. Left side of the road, left side of the road, left side of the road. Try everything. I know. I don't wanna drive. Try to lower my seat, well, I'm kinda high. Oh shit, okay. Okay, okay. So far. How am I on that side? Good. I'm good. Alright. For the first time ever on this trip, I actually feel a little bit cold. Mm -hmm. Just a tiny bit. That's the three sisters there. So today, we're gonna go, we're gonna hike down to that right there. No, no. Why not? Right there. There's a bridge that goes to it, no? Cockatoos were out to get Yessie out here, just pranking her all morning. I'm glad I'm not afraid of heights or stairs. Alright, back up the Amsterdam stairs. Oh, I feel the burn. Oh, Bernie Sanders, 2020. This is super cool. I kind of wish we were going the old one. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs>
And it was uh, used to draw air through the mine to the workplace. So if you go have a quick look. Perfect. <laughs> oh my god, this one's incredible. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, you're not. It happened. You know how to have some fun. This is so cool. How cute. I love it. Over on the right hand side of the cabin, you have the three sisters. If you haven't seen them yet, now's your chance. The three sisters. That's what they're going to look like all day, so you're welcome to look one of them. Out the back, you find them. Hello. 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 here for a couple days next time. There's just so much more to see and I want to see more in the town. This is my favorite little town so far in Australia for sure. But many more to pass through on this journey. Put that up there for a second. I started to get pretty burnt out though like just so many people waiting for that last tram. I was like ah, claustrophobic. <laughs> But other than that, it was fun. I loved it. Alright, so we're both gonna do the big brekkie. Yep. been driving back and forth and back and forth and back and forth on these old country roads and we found our spot with our own eyes. Where should I park? In this little thing right here? This is it. Ooh, I like the view. That's nice. It's a nice view. Is that where we were? We saw that today. Yeah, check Can that out for this. The falls in your bag? No, that's it. Sink it. Ooh, washer. Ooh, bedroom. Ooh, bathroom. Last night we just kind of stayed inside. We're in this little town called Robertson, which is like 40-ish minutes outside of Wollongong, which is like kind of a coastal beach area. When we arrived in town yesterday, it was just about to be five and everything in town was closing. So we didn't really get to do much, but it was a much needed break to just chill out here in the middle of nowhere for a little bit because we've been kind of non-stop moving and going and running around on our feet like about 10 miles a day according to Yessie's phone in her pocket and um, just a little beat down you know I just sit on my butt and tattoo all day so 
My foot has been like aching and hurting. I got a blister on my toe from snorkeling with the little rubber fins. Um, got super sunburnt. Really underestimated the Australian sun out here. Yeah. Should we cross here or up at the crosswalk? <laughs> I don't feel convinced. I like it. I like the carob. Well, this is a cute little town. Reminded me of, like the south. So I looked it up and it holds the Guinness Book of World Records for having the widest sand beaches in the world. Not just yeah. Not just known as really, really white sand beaches, but the widest, apparently. So okay. far, it looks kind of normal to me. I guess it's slightly wider. On the map, you look at the Google map. Ugh. Maybe once you get closer to it. On the Google map, it did look white, like on there. It does look white here. Excited? Oh my god, fucking Australia! You think we can make it all the way to right here? Why not? So long little shack. Tonight me and Yessie sleep in a bus in the middle of nowhere. No Wi-Fi to be found and uh, nothing in the little town. And then the day after that I think we're in Beechworth and then I think after that we're finally back in Melbourne. I wish there was Wallabies to say goodbye to right now. <sighs> It doesn't even look real. We have the entire beach to ourselves. Entire beach. <laughs> All right, we made it to our next stop. We've been here for a few hours. We showered, we hung out, we settled in, but I'm here to give you the tour now. This is our bus for tonight. This is the deck. This is Yessie. These are the lights right here. This bus was a decommissioned um, military paramedic bus. And so the doors open really, really big to be able to let people in to safety and such. And he gutted everything out and made it into this. This is our Airbnb. This is our seating living area. <laughs> Guess he's giving Instagram tour at the same time. This is the kitchen. These are my shades coming off. This is the bathroom, there's the shower, there's me, there's le toilette, <laughs> and then here is the bedroom, and that's about it. Pretty simple, pretty cool. I don't remember the name of the town that we're in. Do you know what it's called? Terra, and remember. Terra, I don't remember. By it's by Wagga Wagga, something along those lines. Tomorrow we are heading to Beechworth. <laughs> Tomorrow we're heading to Beechworth, and then the next day we're heading to Melbourne, and then we're there for a bit, and then we come home finally. Here, come here, my little bee friend.
Come on. Come on. Come on, my little bee boy. Come on. Oh, it came out. Oh, one flew by. There's this bee that keeps coming into our air. B N B. There's been two bees in here. That makes sense. Did they leave? Where? Oh. Go. Shoo. Come on. That bee is out to get Yessie. It's crazy. Give me a pillow. I'll help him get out. Don't throw it at me. I'm not your enemy. Where's he at? Come on. Come on, my little bee boy. Where are you at? Oh, there you are. Come on. Do you think he's attracted to the light? I think so. Go outside. Come on. I know this is usually your spot. I know. I know. There's two now? <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> I slept the homie in. Alright. You're safe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't got no food. All right, next stop is Beechworth, which is a cool little town that I haven't seen yet. Where did you find the key? Was it just hanging out? Yeah. All right. It was in here. How'd you know it was gonna be there? I just saw it. All right, let's lock it up. Has a little archway in front of it. This is it. We found the correct Airbnb. This is definitely it. All right, give us the proper tour. Alright. Ooh. Okay, this looks like the photos. I remember this now. Yeah. This is cute. This is small. I like this. Ooh, it's got a real proper tub. I think this tub might be bigger. Oh, it's like a little skeleton key. That's cool. This is cool. The only thing I miss was that shower. Oh, the shower's right there. Where? You can shower in the tub. How? Oh shit, that's like a giant shower then. What about like, it's splashing everywhere. You don't care? Splish, splashing, I was taking a shower in the bath. Bum 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 bum. Oh. Uh. Well that's hilarious. That is hilarious. <laughs> it's showing another presence. Bar. I'm so hungry, there's nothing in town to eat. Bring in the groceries. <laughs> Goodbye, beautiful restroom. I'm going to miss you a lot. I love this little cabin. I love it, love it, love it. Beechworth was great. We made a really cool friend yesterday. We went back into town, we got groceries, and um, I stopped by someone that recognized me from the internet. His name is Oz, great guy. He does caricatures. He's also tattooing a bit. And um, he drew me and Yessie. It looks like this. 
It's fucking awesome. Made our day. Made our day for sure. We also did like a little um, walking tour, learned a bunch about Ned Kelly and Beechworth and history and stuff like that. And it was a good day. It was really nice. I enjoyed it a lot. And then, um, what else? That was about it. We chilled. But yeah, we're on our way out of town, heading to Glen Rowan, learn about Ned Kelly's last stand with the police. And then we're going to Melbourne. It's only a couple hours away, so our trip is on its on its tail end right now. So do you think Ned Kelly was a villain or a hero yesterday? I think he is a villain and a hero. Really? Yeah, of course. He committed crimes, but I don't think his heart was wrong for doing what he was doing. He was the villain's hero! I think... Ned Kelly was a common man placed in a predicament to survive and I think he survived as long as he could. I think he did some bad things. He died young, right? I don't know. I think everyone died young back then. Except for his mom. She lived 90 something. 80. 80. No, it was 90. I think 93. I think you said 80. Google check. <laughs> Yeah, so, I don't know. If you're not aware of Ned Kelly, Ned Kelly was a cowboy of sorts. Out here, they would call a cowboy... Bush ranger. A bush ranger. And he was from Ireland, I believe, came to Australia. And him and his family lived a life of crime, stealing horses and holding up banks and starving and going to prison and coming out of prison and stealing stuff some more. Um, he was a very polite guy and really nice to the people that he robbed and he was a bit of a Robin Hood in many many ways um, and he's got a bit of legend around him and I think people out here particularly are kind of tired of it because it's a big touristy thing like there's Ned Kelly everything at the end of the day there was plenty like him he was just another bush ranger um, I think the reason why he gets the, the spotlight is because it's really cool armor but um, we are heading to Glen Rowan to go to another Ned Kelly thing. We're going to Ned Kelly Museum. And so... You rub it in so much. What are you supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> One through ten. Um, ten. Okay. Was good. The breakfast was good. Service was good. I'll give it a ten too. Yeah. I liked it. There's nothing to complain about. <laughs> it was solid breakfast. It just wasn't all vegan restaurant, but, right. but it's perfect. I would have loved been able to try those fancy pancakes, pancakes. they didn't have. Yeah. Yeah. All right, it's time to get a little nasty with Ned. <laughs> That's so gross. Yeah. Why? <laughs> animatronic style, you know what I'm saying? I love you. Okay, I'm sorry, never mind. Welcome to Glen Rowan. Ned Kelly has taken his place in Australian history as our only true folk hero. The events you're about to witness actually occurred and are amongst the great historical events in history. That was so cool. What do you think? <laughs> it's pretty funny. Such is life. <laughs> it was funny. That was a blast. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Got it. Got it. <laughs> 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 this is a vegan delicacy. It's called lettuce. <laughs> this? Yes. Rabbit food, girl. 
Ooh, it's hot. I'm leaving that there. Maybe you use it to grab it because it's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> the lettuce is actually called hot spring roll mittens. And you use it to grab your little spring roll kittens. You're gonna burn your tongue off. Danger! Ooh, it's so hot! Fuck that. Thing. <laughs> All right. Okay. It's kind of hard to get a hold of, huh? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's a collaboration. Accidental collaboration. I'm just rolling with it. Whatever that is, just fine by me. Good morning, me and Yessie arrived here in Melbourne yesterday afternoon and we settled into our Airbnb here, which is a bit tricky to do. Um, yeah, it's a city, it's kind of wild. Finding parking was, we had to pay for parking for an hour, then come in and we had to get a key to come into this building and then we couldn't get in the building, got in the building and then he gave us a key and then we had to go back get our car and then repark in the parking garage below this place, which was like super tight and difficult and you only have one spot you can park in and then you have to have a key access to the elevator super fancy super secure super stressful um but yeah we did it we arrived we made it we got settled in and uh we took a little walk we walked down to uh Phoenix, and um it was really good it was nice nice easy night came back home here and watched some tv and sat around and didn't really do much of nothing Today, we're gonna go get coffee right now. We're gonna go see the pink lake and see if it's still pink. More about that later. made it to the pink lake. It doesn't look that pink today. The warmer it is, the algae gets warmed up. Something with the salt water and sciency happens and it the right light it gets pinker. Ooh it stinks. It stinks bad. Really bad. Oh my god. It is the prettiest, stinkiest thing I've seen probably ever. It's not that pretty though. The water's pretty, but it looks you know, pretty trashy. Yeah. Let's get out of here. This thing's so bad. I hate it. Uh. 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 Well, you saw it. Saw the stink lake. It smells like doo doo, poo poo, gross, gross, nasty, nasty. I'm actually really excited for this one. It's gonna be good. Are you scared? A little bit? She's a little scared. That's cool. Huh? Alright, what do we have here, Yessie? We have the mint. Mint chocolate. Mm -hmm. Crunch. The apple. 
blueberry. No, this is the crumble. Apple, apple crumble pie. It's apple blueberry crumble. See the blue in the middle? Damn it. Okay. <laughs> and, and then... Carrot cake. Ooh! What do you eat first? That one? Oh my god, yes. Why didn't you eat it? You just teased yourself? Okay, carrot cake. It is. <laughs> they feel so warm and love. I know. I know. Alright, which one is yours? Which one is mine? This one's mine. How'd you know? It's pretty simple. So yes, he's dropping off the keys right now to our Airbnb. We just got out of the garage and we're heading to Moonlit Sanctuary. So yes, he can pet a koala as I did last time. All right, let's do it. It's so cute. Yes, do you want to see one or not? <laughs> it's a big old bear, huh? A little bear. I'm really excited. Do you want to see what's over there? Having fun? That one's my favorite. Why? Oh, oh his little face. Oh, he just looks over. Huh? Oh my god. I'm guessing that's the one. Patient is a wallaby. No. Okay, fine. <laughs> I feel. So rude. There you go. You're so sweet. These leaves aren't good okay. enough. Okay. Oh, sorry. No, no, you're good. Me. You're good. <laughs> She's soft. <laughs> She's so very, soft. very fluffy, isn't she? Okay. Good. Thanks for that. Can you scoot over, please? It smells like you can lift this. Oh. Your purse. Yeah, not forget this. <laughs> okay. So can you take it off for me? You take it? No, the ticket. Uh, just the <laughs> ticket. <laughs> no, you have no ticket. Come here, big boy. Come here. Come on. <laughs> Circle of life, I suppose, huh? Yeah. <laughs> 
I must be like a king. Sanctuary was great. We're just heading back to Melbourne, taking the coastal route, stopping randomly when we see something along the side of the road. And that's our day. And tonight, we Smith and Daughters. Again, ish, we had Smith and Deli for breakfast. Uh, this time with Josh and Avalon. Not a bad day, and not bad weather. Kind of gloomy, but in a good way. It's crazy how like every 20 minutes the beach is such a drastically different landscape each time, huh? I feel like back home it doesn't change much if you drive down the coast. Sanctuary is a four acre outdoor gallery featuring 92 ceramic sculptures of native animals and Aboriginal people from Central Australia. Sanctuary is a unique place of spiritual renewal, quiet reflection where visitors can see themselves, vision, passion, and lives in William Ricketts' work. So cool, like the way the forest is like intertwined with it, with the moss and the plants growing around it. Painting. This is where Bob Ross gets his painting inspirations from. There's a big happy tree right there, as you can see. Down there you'll see some liquid white. Ooh. Beware really, really big snakes. <laughs> A couple of waterfall warriors. Mm -hmm. This is cool. It's so tiny. Ooh. Little tiny restroom. Little shower too. I wonder where the fridge is gonna go, because she should bring the fridge. Oh, it's probably probably little one down there, huh? She got the loft. Ooh. Oh, this is nice. This is big. This is bigger than our bed back home. This is a full king. I'm gonna throw the camera over there. Feels like a clubhouse. This is bigger than our bed. Oh, hey. Okay, really? Airport. We're saying farewell, Australia. Whew, I'm tired. That was the most comfy bed I slept on the whole trip. I'll definitely say that. But I was also probably the most tired I've been on the whole trip. Oh, yeah, the check in was a little rough yesterday for this spot. It was kind of, they had said that no one had stayed in this Airbnb in a while. Like the power wasn't on, they had to turn the power on, turn the water on. There's no cooking oil, it's kind of warm in there. It was kind of a bummer for the first couple hours. But when everything got rolling, and we got showered and got situated and made dinner, it was lovely. It's really nice. I mean, we're out here. We're out in the middle of nothing. It's been really nice. <sighs> okay. Time warp fucking, what is it called? It's too early to think. Little time lapse thing of the dirt road on the way out. 